Your morning is incomplete without your breakfast. Let's dance. The recipe for a perfect breakfast. Music, politics, sports, news and current affairs, entertainment stories right out of your radio. On the Hit Breakfast Show. The Hit Breakfast Show. The Hit Breakfast Show. Hey, what's up? It's Demi Lovato. Get the news. Know the story and be ready to be part of it. Listen to the Hit Breakfast Show. Calvin's number one breakfast show. On Calvin's number one urban radio station. Today's Hit Music. Hit FM. On your radio. My name is UK Yoga. I'm the host of the show, the Hit Breakfast Show. And I'm really pleased to have you join me this morning. And um, for those of you who are live on our page, at Hit FM Calabar, shout out to you. That's on Instagram. This conversation is being videoed live on our Instagram page, at Hit FM Calabar. Now... Today's show is, is going to be very, very interesting because um, we're looking at something that affects everyone who is a member of the workforce in some way or the other in Cross River State as far as Cross River State is concerned. And I have um, two gentlemen here with me um, representing Labour in different ways. The first person I'll introduce, we have the chairman of the Nigeria Labour Congress in Cross River State, Comrade Ben Upepi. Very good morning to you, Comrade. Yeah, Welcome I- to the Hate Breakfast Show. Good morning, Cross River, and good morning, Nigeria Cross River State uh, workers. Okay, it's good to have you. We also have the Secretary of the Trade Union Congress, TUC. Uh, he's here in the studio this morning, and his name is Comrade Ken Bassi. Good morning, Comrade Ken Bassi. Welcome to the Hit Breakfast Show. Good morning, UK. Good morning, Cross Riverians. Good morning, Nigerian workers. Okay. It's nice to be here. Yeah, I know that your workers, people who are members of your organization and are parts of your group, already know what you are. But for the benefit of doubt, let's just state it for the benefit of doubt. What is the TUC? What is your scope? Who are the people that are part of the TUC? And then I'll ask the same question of the NLC. I'll start with you, Comrade Ken. What is the TUC? Um, TUC, of course, like you said it earlier, stands for, it's an acronym for the Trade Union Congress of Nigeria. And it has uh, affiliates uh, spread all over both the public sector and then the private sector. Yeah, your members, are they the same members that make up the TUC that make up the NLC? Uh, no, no, we have our members. Like those are the affiliates I'm talking about. We have our members, you know, who are affiliated to us through their local unions. Okay, and then the NLC, Comrade Pepe, I'd like to know what, what is, who is the NLC and where do you, um, what is your scope? Who are your members, for instance? Well, uh, NLC, as you rightly know, is a household name in Nigeria when you talk of labor. Mm. NLC, however, is Nigeria Labor Congress. Uh, Nigeria Labor Congress says consists of uh, 49 affiliates working in both private and uh, public sectors. Okay. Mm. So what I want to establish is that not if you're a member of the NLC, you're not a member of the TUC. Is that, is that how it is? That's true. So yes, that's the how they, yes, they, yes, they are two, they are two different they are two labor centers. Labor centers. Two yes, uh, different labor, labor centers. centers. Okay. You know, we have about 38 affiliates, they have about 40, 40 something. 40, 49. But from 49, okay. uh, public and private sectors. Okay, now let's come home to Cross River State and look at the goings on. In recent times, I'll start with you, NLC uh, Chairperson Comrade Upepe. In recent times, we've had a lot of talk about a strike action that, has called, that was called for by the NLC in Cross River State. I want to talk to you, uh, NLC. Uh, chairperson Comrade Kwepi, why is that strike? What was that? Why was that strike necessary at this time? What is that strike all about? Well, uh, I think uh, the strike became very necessary at this time because of uh, government, uh, I could say, insensitivity to uh, labor or welfare issues of workers. Uh, over the time, they have, these issues has lingered for years. It's not just uh, arising at this particular point in time. For instance, if you talk about uh, uh, the payment of gratuity for six years, no civil servant has had any, or a retiree has had any. Um, you talk about uh, most importantly at this time, which we talk about pandemic, is the removal of names from payroll. For 10 months, their names have been off out of the payroll illegally. And so it was necessary. We've been talking with government over time to see how we get restoration of those names back to the payroll. And uh, it never happened. Then promotions also. Civil servant has been promoted for over four years. Non-implementation. The paper is just a service paper in their file. 
Uh -huh. So no effect on the on the promotion for four years now that they were been promoted. Some have even due a subsequent promotion, but yet the the promotion they had they have not implemented. Uh, we talk about staff who have been employed since 2018 and they have been working up till this moment i'm speaking they have not got into the payroll not to talk of their salary and so we look at all these issues and then put them together and said no uh like uh, some may uh, criticize by saying that it is not uh, the strike is ill time it is not uh, well i was just place. going to ask you that. <laughs> yes i'm coming to that so we know that uh, uh workers are not earning salary you have people who have livelihood and it has been removed without any due process and at this particular time which you said is untimely because of pandemic and these workers have families and they suffered it and they, as i speak to you with you some have even died as a result of uh, uh, their suffering and uh, these workers are not getting palliative and why do you say it's not timely it's been a period from the yes we are aware of uh, the economic uh, meltdown because of uh, the pandemic globally and we are aware that cross river state is not an exemption and this is not the first time we have uh, uh, epidemics in the country we should learn to manage the the the, uh, pan, uh, um, the covid 19 as well after all ebola was here in this country we learn to manage it alongside all we need to do is to have continue to have maintain protocol maintain the rules alongside so that we can move ahead not to say the sector has been abounded or most sectors have been abounded because of uh, COVID-19. Now, Comrade Pepe, NLC uh, Chairperson, I'd like to ask you now, ha has there been any sort of dialoguing with government? Have you, uh, all of these grievances, all of these conversations that you've said need to be had, have you had them with government? Maybe having meetings yes. to let them know the grievance of workers and what has government response been to this? Well, well, they have been agreement upon agreement upon these issues at death of rest for instance where this has to come to play is when we had minimal wage negotiation sometimes in uh, february and all this was agreed and signed that it will be implemented in march as i speak up till this moment except the minimum wage which i said uh, might have been implemented so might all, have been yes that is that's that's, that's it's a clause there okay uh -huh, there's a clause in it uh -huh. then the issue of those returning back to payroll uh workers who, who are employed in 2018 up till now not payroll the issue of uh uh gratuities you mentioned uh, 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 promotion implementation mm -hmm. gratuity was not in an agreement of minimum wage okay but it has been an issue that has been rolling over and over the, over okay. the years okay now um these workers that you speak of let, let's take that particular issue before i bring in the tuc i didn't know these same workers that have been referred to as uh people who came in maybe through the back door illegally ghost workers that sort of thing no or are they legitimate workers yes legitimate the workers the we are recruited by the state civil service commission and state civil service is established by law the process of recruiting the workers into the service we are duly taken okay so um when did the strike action starts and did you give a warning before you started the strike action how long did that warning last well time? however since uh, it's an issue that we have gone on strike come back rego again there will be there will be, will it have been necessary eh, for a warning strike all we needed it was to give a government 48 or 72 hours notice but and we had to come back low to see how the situation we have to see why our government can look at some of this issue we gave it 14 days nobody answered us we gave it seven days everywhere was quiet we still repeat and give a three days to see if government can bring us to table and see areas he can identify at this particular time to see where he can address some of the issue but that was not done that okay. is why we have to commence to commence our strike. strike on monday on the 29th of uh, 
June. Okay, um, an LC chairperson, I'll come back to you. But right now, let me uh, bring the Secretary of the Trade Union Congress, TUC, uh, Comrade Ken Bassi, into the conversation. Comrade, now, you've heard all that the NLC chairperson has said about the grievance of workers in uh, Cross River State. Does this apply to workers within your own jurisdiction as well? And what is your reaction um, to this strike action that has been called on by the NLC? Okay, that's a wonderful question. Um, we, like I said earlier, we feel the pains. Um, uh, but the truth of the matter is this. Uh, we are a labor movement, okay? And um, for NLC to embark on strike without due consultation with the TUC is what actually, you know, pains us. And that undermines our um, independence as a labor center. And that's why we said, okay, we cannot participate in the strike because uh, due consultations were not made. You know, we were not brought in. We were undermined. We are aware of all these issues raised. It's not the first time these issues have been raised, okay? Uh, these matters have been taken to the government. Negotiations are ongoing. And uh, you don't embark on a strike when discussions are actually ongoing. That's the truth of the matter. Well, I'm coming. Okay. So we, 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 we are not invalidating the issues raised. The issues raised are valid. But we are saying, look, the period we are, we are into perilous times. We are in on inauspicious times. It's not the boss of time to declare strike. You understand that some states, like Kano State, currently is talking about you know reducing the salaries of workers. Yesterday, Niger State sent a memo to the organized labor, that's TUC and NLC, even telling them that they want to also cut down on salaries of workers. So, but here we are in Cross River State. We understand there are issues, and the Cross River State government is doing everything within her ranks to ensure that workers get their salaries without even a reduction from it based on the effect of COVID-19. You know, you know how the, the impact has been far-reaching globally. Okay. And that's why we said, no, this is not the best of time. We needed to also speak as one to ensure that when we embark on strike, the effect of the strike will be felt. Comrade, because we cannot be divided and be speaking from us, uh, various sides of the mouth. Exactly. Comrade, I want us to unbundle all that you've said. I want us to take, uh, take it step by step. So usually in the past, when strike action is organized by labor, do all of you, are all of you a part of the movement? What is the process that goes into embarking on a strike action? When you said due consultation has not been taken, I want you to help us get into that Okay, first, situation. before uh, strike is declared, you know, you have to consult with the stakeholders. You have the uh, joint negotiating uh, council, mm -hmm. you know, who, who these matters of strike are always placed before them. You understand? It's when they are not able to execute such matters. And then NLC and TUC will now be called for an assistance. You know, we now join our heads together and say, okay, look, you send us on an errand. We are not able to achieve that. That's the public service negotiating council. But once they fail now or they are not able to execute what they've been sent to execute, TUC and NLC are now called. Called by the, who? Called, called by, by who? The joint council, joint negotiating council. Because those are the people responsible. The, the, the council uh, saddled with the responsibility of negotiating with workers, uh, on behalf of workers, with the government. Okay. Until they are not able to do that, then NLC. So, and do you TUC think that in this instance they were able to satisfactorily address the grievances of workers and it was unnecessary to call in uh, the NLC and others? But you can see they are also not joining the strike. So, there's an issue. They are supposed to are, be part of the strike. Are they a striking, a striking body. body it's like a, yeah, NLC it's a, and the TUC? It's a body. It's a body brought in. They are supposed to negotiate that. Um, um, Chair, Chairman NLC, is the Joint <coughs> Negotiating uh, Council a body like the NLC and the TUC? No, or is, no, it a labor a, is it a labor center? No, it's a, a well, labor let, center. Me, let me clarify okay. on that issue. Uh, joint Negotiating Council consists of uh, eight unions, which TUC is one, or uh, Senior Staff Association is one. Okay. Uh -huh. The other seven are affiliates of NLC. Okay. Yes. And so, if he talks about joint negotiating council handling issue and he could not bring them to center, I can tell you that joint negotiating council has been working alone as a person, not as in the, as, as a group. Now I'm coming to that. Okay. Yes. And so for this reason is that the other six affiliate members of the NRC observed that the joint negotiating council is not reaching out to NRC for anything because they belong to that group. But you and can so, see that there's and a problem. So, and so, 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 there's a problem. There's a problem. There's no problem. There's no problem. You have no problem. You said it clearly. Yes. That you have so, more, seven affiliates. So, so they are affiliates now. So, now, no of NLC. Okay, so let, let, and you are saying that the Joint Council didn't come back. 
you feel they are working alone. No, 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 six. Let's take it. Let's take it one after the other. Mm. I want us. I want everyone who's listening to be able to understand because yes. we are asking for a position as though we don't know anything mm. about what's going on. Yes. So you have a joint negotiating council that's made up of seven affiliates, eight, eight. eight, eight. affiliates, mm. seven to NLC. Seven of the members of the joint negotiating council are of the NLC. So why were they not involved? And how were they not involved? We were in not NLC? involved because the chairman was working just there. He could not bring back any feedback That's to the NLC. Possible. It's not possible. Yeah, it's not brought back feedback. You have more membership. Okay, now that's it. And you're complaining that you have not been carried. Okay, now here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do, uh, chairman and secretary. Here's what we're going to do because the joint negotiating council conversation is such a wide one. Mm. We're going to keep that aside for now and Mm. get onto the other reasons for the strike action. Let's agree to disagree. Let's Mm. uh, disagree to agree on that um, particular point. Then we'll move on to the other issues. You've talked about um, the fact that other people seem to have it worse. That's uh, uh, TUC secretary Comrade Ken. You say other people seem to have it worse, and so do you now say that? workers should not then complain about what they are going through because others have it worse this pandemic era you've mentioned other states that are trying to cut down on salaries is there enough reason for workers in cross river state not to express their own grievance uh, that's not the, the, the that's not the reason okay I, I didn't say so okay what i have said is we're not carrying along as a labor center you can't do that you cannot undermine the strength of the other labor center Okay. Do you understand that? Is that yes, it? you is have that right? He, he had the floor. He actually, yes. uh, the Trade uh-huh. Union Congress had the floor before uh-huh. we just quickly yes. took that. Um, you round. have, you you have uh, the right, every right, every privilege to actually embark on strike. Okay. But we are saying that we are not participating in the strike because we have looked at the issues. Discussions are ongoing. We've taken the matter to government. We've met with government on the issue of promotion. It's been clearly stated and agreed. We've extracted commitment from government that from uh, July this month they are going to do a phase implementation yes they won't be able to carry everybody along but they're going to do a phase implementation of you know promotion and then secondly for those who have been deactivated from the payroll is that, is, 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 payroll, is that your agreement with is your agreement of agree. TEC and government it's labor is that labor is uh, labor. Uh, no? now, now here's the thing here's the thing comrade, comrade uh, nlc please just give us one, one minute now tc are you saying that you 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 believe that this is what's going to happen going forward our government has agreed to say the yes grievances, on the, 26th. the grievances that the nlc has listed out are going to be looked into that's non-payment of outstanding gratuities non-implementation of promotions um uh returning um you know workers to payroll all of these issues are going to be looked into on the 26th we had that ha- meeting and okay. we accepted that commitment was nlc a part of that meeting no the affiliates were he, the affiliates were there nut <laughs> was there no there was there okay, so, our affiliates so nlc so you can't say that you are not there but it, it is interesting now to both of you gentlemen it is interesting how um you're both um affi- leaders of affiliate um labor well, uh, well, organizations, me, and you're not sitting together are you not don't you have a forum where you sit together and say okay nlc you're embarking on a strike action and we don't agree with this strike action before it actually comes out to the public space to say nlc we are not going to support you on this strike action did that happen under the ground did that happen in private that's between the labor the u the tuc and the nlc did you tell them this thing you're about to do we're not going to be a part of it for xyz yes, okay, reasons okay. did that happen that was categorically stated they were informed that so long as you had already served the government with 14 days ultimatum you are not aware are you saying you're not aware, aware we're before that was copied. served we're only copied and we said that look for you to have undermined the strength of uh, uh tuc we will not be participating in the strike. For you also not to have brought in the joint negotiation council, we will not be. Pa- That's very clear. So it seems that I'm here. We, we are supposed to be speaking in one voice. Yes, you and, are. And not so the NLC. The other yeah. person is undermining the strength okay. of the other okay. person. Why was the Nobody TUC not brought that. in? Why was the TUC not well, informed? Well, Why were think, they not? I think this is just a story to come into the air and okay. watch uh, the dent, dirty leadings of uh, the labor on the, to the public. But okay. however, I will say that uh, we had. On many occasions, invite TUC for a meeting. You will never see them. This is not the first time. He's just coming into the scene. I think uh, Clarkson, if he was here, he should argue it better with me. Mm. Or he should call and tell me that before we submitted the ultimatum, the reason is that they have been heated. Uh, um, they have been forced, forces from the public or from the civil servants over non implementation of these issues. And as you rightly said, Workers does not know much of uh, other labor center than the NLC. But that's even, not true. Even members of that's the TUC true. still come to NLC. I'm telling you this: the it's public, not, not the public does not know much of it's other that, not center. It's, so it's, I, I all the heat is on us. Uh, well, you are the claim. You are the claim. Please, allow the NLC. Allow the NLC have 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 the floor. 
before this ultimatum was submitted, we had to have met the TEC secretary and said, look, uh, sorry, uh, uh, yes, the TUC secretary and no, say, look, secretary, not me. Uh, Clarkson. You with Clarkson, you uh, I met with, with him secretary. in a meeting and say, look, the heat on us is just too much on this issue. The public don't know what we are doing. We are going to submit uh, an uh, ultimatum? Un ultimatum to the government. I spoke with the joint council chairman. Since you are not forthcoming, we called you for a meeting. We asked you to call for meetings. We don't see you. We, I'm going to submit an ultimatum to actually take my face out of the public that these issues are overlinging. Nothing is going to be done about it. But let me come to question. Uh, um, my friend, um, the association secretary has said uh, they had a meeting with government on the 26th of uh, June. This is actually very, 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 very Unfortunate with the workings of the labor in Cross how, how State. How do you mean? Is it? I am saying so. I am saying so. Yes, I am saying so because they had gone ahead to have an agreed position of the agreed thing that NSC has written for ultimatum without the NSC. You can't say without the kind, NSC. Yeah? You're you are saying to me. Saying, please, allow, there. allow the NSC chair. He had the floor. I let you when you had the floor. Okay. Please let him. Hmm? He has the floor. I'll well, ask you to address without, the issues Without the raises. NSC, they have gone ahead to make an arrangement to have a meeting with government. An agreed position of things we have wrote for an ultimatum without an NLC in in the meeting, and then you tell me that uh, we do we are going on strike. We, you don't want to go because we do not inform you. You were duly informed, not only we information. Not. Let's get back to that issue. Let's get back Let's to that issue. Of carrying to the, along. The Come information with. was given verbally at the same time when we wrote. We had to copy them. Did they did they get the information at the same time as the public, or did they get it before the public? They I think get that, it before, that, the before public. the public got yeah. the information. That's not true. Well, he's saying he's here and he's saying that that's not true. Now, um, comrade, and you have agreed here that the letter was copied to you. That means you're well, if you're copied, then it's at the same time as everyone else. Who no, it's not. They get the information verbally under no, discussion. We're can, can we're copied now, comrade, comrade, uh, Ken of the TUC. There was a meeting, a very strategic meeting, as you've said, with government on the 26th. Why was the NLC? Was the NLC not a part of that? And if they were, we were not NLC invited. NLC we were not I'm invited. Please respond. We were not invited. NLC was invited. Maybe the leadership is referring to. NUT was there. Is NUT an affiliate of TUC? Let him answer that. But uh, let me no, let him answer that because NUT is an affiliate of NLC. But and they, they were in their the meeting. meeting. They were in their meeting. Were they invited Julie directly, presented. or was the umbrella body the NLC invited for that meeting? That I wouldn't know because I, I didn't send out who, the invitation. Who called for the meeting? The deputy governor of Crossover State. Okay. So okay. So okay. No, no guess, become. No guess become. that is. Are you are No guess. You no guess that is an affiliate of. Wait. NLC. You, 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 What's also in the meeting? You are aware that after the, gen, after the, the meeting, chairman of the jump after after, public after public the meeting was there. So members of the NLC. They were all member there. bodies of the NLC. You, were there. Meeting. Yeah, they were. Wait. How they did were. your members get the memo and they did not? Or that you? That is the answer of TUC. Not in order to ensure that. But you are aware that some of your members... You cannot blackmail TUC, please. Uh, he, Comrade he Ken, cannot. just give us... He cannot blackmail TUC. Com mm. Comrade Ken, Comrade Ken, we're asking about specific instances now. We're talking about this meeting that was held with government mm. on the 26th. That was... NLC yeah. chairman, are you aware that some of your members were at that meeting? And if yes, how was it that your members were at the meeting and then you were not at the meeting? How did they know of a meeting that you, the NLC, no, umbrella is, body, did not is, know about? If, if, uh, if a meeting is not in, uh, given formal invitation to NLC, I don't expect NLC to be there. They were invited for the meeting, according to him. Formally? Formally. Yes, he said it. And we were not invited. For other members, I am not God to be everywhere. You are aware that after that meeting... No, guess you are feeling... Wait, just let, let the chairman of the NRC have you, a you are aware that after the meeting, Norge, NUT, some unions, they are, they are there. There was a report formally from the deputy governor's uh, media unit that this group of persons have dissociated themselves. So even after attending the meeting, it after not, attending not the meeting. Now, now, now let's, come, let's come to the present. What we have now on ground in Cross River State is that there's a strike action that is being upheld by members of the NLC, but not being upheld by members of the yes, TUC. The TUC is not what, part of the strike, and we're urging our members to go to work. They have to report for duties. And NLC members, members and affiliates of the NLC are, ongoing, are going on that strike. Now let's talk about that. How's that experience been for you? Do you think that that has achieved the goals and the set objectives well, that you well, set out I, to I think, achieve? I think, I think uh, uh, you're a reporter, you're a media person. Go out there and see for yourself. Okay. The strike is, call it 90% success because 
This time around, we decided not to close the gate since TUC. Let TUC go to work. And we've come, take, tell our members, tell them the conscience of the item listed. If they do not affect them, they should go to work. Go out there and see. Not in the studio here. Is that going to solve the problem? It's not is going it? to solve the problem. They, but for us, it's for us, for government, to call us to table and tell us that this is and this and this. And not to call a group who has said, I'm not going to be part of the strike. And you call them to a meeting to settle issues That's that we have true. raised. See, see, and again, it. and again, this limit, this uh, member was raised by NLC for strike, the ultimatum for NLC for strike. It was not put as an organized labor. So I can see where you go and drink Panadol and somebody's headache. But, Wait, I'm coming okay. there. Well, I'm coming there. Just hold there. on, just hold on. He he's saying, he's saying something different. Yes, he's saying you something understand. different. We wrote a letter, we wrote for ultimatum. Government should call us and address issue. He went and called separate persons to address the issue. So that is a very wrong approach. But shouldn't it to, have been organized labor so that it is so more effective? That is that's that's what what and, and by law, even a single union can call for a strike. Can call for a strike. Of course, as we saw so in recent times. Yeah, as we saw in recent times. Now, now TUC, our, the thing so, is this. The thing is this. Uh, comrade so, Ben, yes. chairperson NLC, and uh, Comrade Ben of Secretary of comrade the TUC. Ken Bassi. Comrade Ken Bassi, I beg your pardon, uh, Secretary of the TUC. The thing is, when the elephants fight, the grass suffers. Yeah. What is the way forward with this? I find it really interesting that the government called for a meeting and the people who originated the strike were not a part of that meeting. However, you have said that government, through the, the Deputy Governor of Cross River State, who was a part of that meeting, as you've said, he called for that meeting. He was there, according to you. Sure. Uh -huh. I want to made promises. At the instance of the governor. Yeah, so you said they made promises. Now, these are promises. Don't you think that NLC should be a part of hearing these promises or signing that, okay, we've heard about these promises so that they can hold you together, organized labor, can hold government accountable to the promises that they are making? Well, I, I, I can't be here to explain, to give you reasons as to why the leadership of NLC was not invited to that meeting. But I've stated here categorically clear that two or uh, three major affiliates were part, of the, part of the meeting. Part of the meeting, and he's saying that after no, the meeting, okay. they dissociated they, themselves from that. Yes. No. Before this time, I, I want to believe they are already dissociated themselves from. from okay. From, from the Here's what we're going to do, uh, comrades. We're going to open up the phone lines right now. It's a hit breakfast show, Hit FM 95.9. There's an ongoing strike action by the NLC in Cross River State uh, over a lot of issues, including but not limited to non-payment of outstanding gratuities, implementation of promotions, uh, returning uh, workers to the payroll, all of that. There's so much. But the TUC is saying now is not the time. We're dealing with the pandemic there's so much that's going wrong it, it's not the time and we're not informed so we're not going to join so what do you make of all of this zero seven zero zero nine five nine four four eight three six that's the number to call zero seven zero zero nine five nine four four eight three six that's the phone number zero seven zero zero nine five nine four four eight three six hello good morning good morning good morning you're on the hit breakfast show you put us on hold. Please call us back. 0700-959-44836. I want to hear solutions. Is there a potential of having another meeting? Government knows that this strike action by the NLC has already begun. Is 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 uh, organized labor looking to say, let us together now have a united front and go back to government and see how we can... Because you've said they've made promises. I mean, that shows that the government is ready to attend to the issues. So these promises why don't we have it in a way that all of organized labor can see and can be a part of maybe attesting to the fact that the promises have been made hello good morning mm. hello. good morning what's your name where are you calling from me on the hit breakfast show yes my name is paul Idago. i'm a veteran uh, you know labor leader in cross river state uh, oh all right uh paul welcome to the show talk to us do you belong to the nlc or the tuc no, 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 no. That is not the point for now. That you guy, introduced that yourself as a veteran labor leader. That's why I asked. Please yeah, go ahead. That, uh, that is, yes, I, you didn't need because I don't want to take time. Okay. But I can take time. Yes. Please yes. go ahead. But I want, what, what I want to say here is that I, I, I think to a larger extent, there is some level of compromise along the line because people shouldn't toy with the welfare of workers in, in, in the state. People have suffered to a larger extent. And uh, <laughs> I think that uh, what TUC is trying to disagree with uh, uh, NLC, uh, instead of them working together, uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not done that way. So what do you think way. the solution is to this current, current impasse? What is yes, the way I, forward? I, 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 yes, I, I, think, I think they should, they should work together instead of disagreeing. So that is, that is, that is my stance. You know, 
Let's all work together. Thank you very much for your thoughts this morning. 0700-959-44836. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Please turn down the volume of your radio set or turn it off completely. What's your name? Where are you calling from? This is Comrade Oga calling you from Akampa. Okay, Comrade, talk to us. The major issue I just want to discuss there is this is this issue is our issue. It's the issue of labor. And the labor is just like a father to other uh, 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 sub uh, head. So what the TUC secretary is supposed to do that is it's supposed to co up with the the labor leader to make sure that they fight the right fight for us. So almost close to 10 or 11 months, some persons are suffering. Remove from the rule. It is not easy. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, two callers, I'm still going to take more calls, but it seems that everybody wants uh, the NLC and the TUC to come together to fight for the welfare of workers. And it doesn't seem that you're seeing eye to eye at this point. Hello, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? Fine, thank you. How are you? What's your name? I'm doing fine. I'm John, a reporter maker. I, I, I talk from the Local Government Service Commission. Talk to us, John. Yes. I think that these two unions, I don't know whether it's ego that is their problem or something. If uh, Labour is inviting TUC, I, I think that they should come together and agree, separately agree, before you, you, know, you give us this notice. You get us confused. We come out here for, for, for strike. On reaching the secretary, we saw that the gates were open and... <clears throat> and well, they both uh, uh, unions, they were on the gate there. The other one said, go to their work. The other one said, go to strike. I will, got confused. So the larger, larger community of uh, the workforce, they are confused about the strike. Honestly, I think the problem is the ego. They, everybody wants to seek relevance, you know. And when they go about doing this uh, collecting money from a uh, state government, eh, in the name of union, I'm sure, I'm sure that the 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 the, the, the sharing formula couldn't go around. Ask okay, I, I'll yeah, ask them. But are you a part of? Are you a part yeah. of? I want to know more about this. Are you a part of what you're talking about, sir? I'm a, I'm a worker now. Why no, can't I be because part of, no, he has to. Yeah, because it seems like he has information that he's not releasing to us right now. Thank you very much. Uh, but the, you must understand that the Nigerian public, there's, there's this system of mistrust that we've gathered over the years, you know, for our different, not just labor now, mm -hmm. but our different strata. So it is not far-fetched to imagine how people could be thinking that, okay, maybe there's mm, something yes, going on here. True, yeah. Address that. Let me take this call and you'll address that. Hello, good morning. Good morning, madam. Good morning. What's your name? You're on the Hit Breakfast Show. I am Comrade Felix Usani Ibiang from College of Education, Akangpa. Talk to us, Comrade, straight to the point and direct, please. Okay. Yeah, I just want to ask a question to the TUC Secretary. Uh, you are saying that uh, the affiliates of NLC were attending the meeting. Why is it that the affiliates are joining the strike? And they decide to disassociate themselves because I know that they have joined the strike and they are on strike. Okay. I only want to, I will advise, please, for the interest of the worker. And these people that were dropped from payroll, they have worked for four years, some of them even promoted. They had their promotion letters. Okay. And their names were dropped. If they should work together, you should, they should go back to the drawing board and stop washing their dirty linen to the public. Well, you say washing dirty linen, some of the people might see it as trying to constructively explain to workers what is going on in Cross University. There's a particular call that I found really interesting. A worker said he would show up at his place of work and at the gate he would see representatives of the NLC and of the TUC, one party telling him, go into the office and work, the other party telling him, go home. Now, how do you, how does this make you feel well, hearing, well, I'll start with you, NLC chairperson, how does this make you feel well, hearing well, the confusion? Well, well, I think... Yeah. Uh, um just like we are rightly said there are two different trade uh, center it's like this fight is not a uh, not fighting government at this time around it's like fighting between the two uh, uh labor center uh, that is how it and looks like unusual. and, uh, and uh, it's very very unusual uh -huh. now if uh, a member who has called he knows his affiliates i think he's, he should obey what we are saying if you are tuc obey tuc 
if you are NLC, please stay at home. Please stay at home because I know that uh, uh, the public sex sector in Cross River State here is only one union, which is the Senior Staff Association in our service. And that's the mistake you keep. The rest, the rest are. Eh? So you you see, but the senior staff, the senior staff is TUC. Yes. Yes. The other unions are NLC. Uh, okay. Yes. So well, you keep on the mining based on so, that. So on the mining. TUC so you understand. So I know that that is just the, that is why maybe the interest is not just too much to stand for so right, workers that you are saying you see so right you, you now, try to cause to a divide in the sector. There's a line in the sand, TUC uh, uh, secretary uh, comrade. There's a line in the sand. Now, sure. is there a way the NLC, the TUC, or the NLC can erase that line and come to work together? Is there a way that can happen? Uh, going forward, we have to go back to the drawing board. Who is like, going to bail this cut? Who is going to initiate this return to the drawing board? Is it you, the TUC? Is it the NLC? Is it the state government? Definitely, time will get to a point where we we'll break it, uh, we'll get to equilibrium at that no win you know lose you know no win and no language and then we go back to the drawing board because are you we sure just we're have already to, at that point yes we are just have to speak in one voice i have stated that clearly even when you asked me the first question that is because nlc on the mind we are not into superiority con- but they said uh, something about panadol and headache they said that you know they are the ones who have the headache they did not ask anybody they should go to approach then. government we don't know why government didn't but i i, I said clearly that his affiliates were duly presented. And uh, okay, okay. okay. Hit breakfast show hit ninety five for nine FM. We've got to go on a break now. When we come back on the other side, we've got more of this conversation. Don't touch your dial. Get involved via Twitter. We are live on Facebook, Hit FM Calabar, and Instagram at Hit FM Calabar. Keep it locked to the Hit Breakfast Show. Hey, yeah. uh-huh. Hit FM. Hey, breakfast show hit 95.9 FM. My name is UK and I have, um, uh, well, the NLC here in the studio. I have comrade Ben Upepi, the chairperson of the NLC, and um, comrade Ken Bassi, the secretary of the TUC, both here talking about what's going on in organized labor in Cross River State. And um, now, now we're looking at, uh, as, we, as we bring the conversation to a close, what exactly is the way forward? I'll start with you, Mr. Chairman, NLC, Ben Upepi, comrade Ben Upepi. What is the way forward? How can we make it so that labor, organized labor, is is fighting with one voice for the welfare, the good of workers in Cross River State, taking all the challenges into consideration, including the current COVID-19 pandemic and all of that. Comrade Ben Upepi, NLC Chair. Well, let me once again say that uh, NLC is actually uh, an umbrella body of uh, affiliate union. And being an affiliate union, you know how to broker peace between your affiliates. And so it is not difficult for us with uh, TUC like I said earlier, we had us have several uh, outing to see how we broke our peace together. But however, I must say that uh, the government also should not begin to use this opportunity to cost division in the... Can I exact a promise, uh, co- Chairman, because I, I really have because to go in less than two minutes. I have to go in less than two minutes. Uh, comrade uh, Ben... Uh, comrade Ken Comrade Bassett. Ken. I don't know why I keep using his name Comrade on you. Ken Bassett. Comrade Ken of the TUC. Can we exact a promise that the TUC and the NLC are going to come together? You heard the people who called in. Labor, the, your members are not happy mm-hmm. about this development. Even the ones who are striking are not happy that there's one. There's not a one united voice. So can we exact a promise that you're going to, together, after this conversation today, find a way to sit down and iron issues out so that organized labor can speak with one voice? UK, I told you clearly that the house that is divided among itself cannot stand. It's, it's really obvious. Uh-huh. So, what, so what's going to happen about um, that, uh, Chairman? What, NLC, what I have to, uh, ad- my advice to NLC at all times, they m- must continue to consult with TUC for the labor movement to be strong all that and is indivisible. Water. All that is water under the bridge right now. We are where we are. The NLC is striking. Most of its affiliate members are striking. There are some people who are not striking. Uh, we hear that um, uh, some other members of the NLC are not striking, including the local government employees. These are all members of the NLC. Yes, so and the NUT. And the NUT, they are not striking. So it, it's, it's sort of, um, well, many others are striking. So we can see that there's some success in the strike, and then there's some people who are still having dissented voices. Can we exact a promise today, as I turn off the mic this morning, Chairman NLC, that the NLC and the TUC will sit down to have a holistic review and a conversation of what is going on for the betterment of all workers in Cross River State? Well, workers of Cross River State, we have no doubt we are working for your interest. And uh, if it is the interest of all the workers that uh, we come together and broker out peace so that we work in one voice, of course I think that is uh, Yeah, I think that will be good. So uh, uh, we would love to hear a follow-up to say that TUC and NLC have sat down and they're going to go... They have sat before and they continue to sit. 
they will continue to sit. Thank you very much. Uh, and and um, before I go, UK, uh -huh. one last voice. Okay. Um, I want to say here that uh, the TUC and the government they should allow workers to freely decide on where they are. No molestation. No, no, Chairman, maybe, has that. there been molestation? Chairman, yes, I want to call nobody. Call nobody. Nobody yes, has molested to to any yes, yes, uh, Nobody. Yeah, yeah. Nobody. Yes, they have the been caller who, The caller who called said. Let yeah. him. Let him finish. Let him finish. I have just like less than thirty seconds, but we just have to make this quick. Has there been issues of molestation? Yes, one of our members was beaten up by the. A police, or I call it the SA Labor and the SSA on the You have security. the facts to this. Is yes, this we had. They, so they came well, to me and we had to go to reports. So now you heard one of the people who called in this morning said that the NLC and the TL, TUC are the ones that he sees at the gate of his office when he goes with, um, 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 you know, one person saying come in and another party go saying go, in, go out. Here's the no. thing. This conversation is far from over. We can't exhaust it completely this morning. But I'd like to, by the time we decide to come back to the conversation, have heard that progress has been made. That is by the NLC and the TUC having sat down mm. to work out this issue so that the workers themselves can have the best of organized labor. Can I get that promise, NLC chair? Please. Yeah, and like I said, that, that's, like that's like, all I want. I want like that promise. Yes, TUC, uh, so, come the care, to do. Mm. You have that. You sit down mm. with the NLC and you iron these issues out. But, but Thank you very much. But however, Kosiva State Worker, please, I've got to you go have now. to continue to stay at home until Thank you something very much better for being a is done for you. Breakfast show this morning. Thank you, everyone. The conversation continues on social media. I'm going right into the music. Please stay safe. UK Oga signing out. Bye bye. The hottest spot in town. This is today's hit music. Ladies, ladies and